on the march in Somalia. Members of the hardline Al-Shabaab Mujahideen movement, the men changing the dynamics of war in Somalia and taking it to new levels. A highly secretive organization, Al-Shabaab is listed by the United States in its role of so-called terrorist organizations. Its fighters cover their faces to conceal their identities. In a rare interview, one of the movement's top leaders told Al Jazeera why they first took up arms. We are fighting to lift the burden of oppression and colonialism from our country. We are defending ourselves against enemies who attacked us. Once we are successful with that, we will fight on and finish oppression elsewhere on earth. This is the port city of Merka, a mere 90 kilometers from the capital Mogadishu, one of the many places across the country where Al Shabaab filled the political vacuum while still continuing their fight for the capital. It now holds large parts of southern and central Somalia and is growing in military and territorial strength by the day. These are some of Al Shabaab's fighters, and they are drawn from different parts of Somalia. Though they are in a battle to take control of it, they say their overall objective is far beyond this country. We will establish Islamic rule from Alaska and Chile to South Africa, Japan, Russia to Solomon Islands, and all the way to Iceland. Be one, we are coming. One of Al-Shabaab's core principles is that all Muslims are citizens of Somalia. As such, multitudes of foreign fighters from across the globe have bolstered their ranks. We shall welcome any Muslim from any part of the world who wants to join us. We will allow him to wed our daughters and share our farms. Many have already died fighting our cause and many others are here with us. Al-Shabaab dominate all public gatherings in areas under their control. Their speeches are laden with calls to the people to join their cause. The public's response to Al-Shabaab has largely been one of admiration. Many dress their children like the militia and arm them with toy weapons. After all, they are the only meaningful authority they have seen in nearly two decades and the only one that brought them some semblance of peace. Mohammed Ado Al Jazeera, Marka in southern Somalia.